Hello children. I hope so. You are absolutely fine at home. In today's video, we will continue lesson number 2, the skeleton system. In the previous video, we have done the explanation of the lesson. Whereas now, we will understand about the homework as well as classwork assignments of the lesson. In the homework assignments, some questions will be given to you that you have to solve yourself. Answers of them will be discussed in the later video. Whereas classwork assignments you are supposed to do in your classwork copy. Homework assignments you can note down in any of the copy which is available to you. Okay, so let us begin with the lesson. Lesson number two, the skeletal system. First we will start with homework assignments. Question number one, learn the following keywords. Skeleton. It is a framework of bones. Joint. It is a place where two or more bones meet. Spine. The backbone of a human body. Ribs. Curved bones in the chest. Limbs. Joint appendages in the human body for the movement. Ligaments. Tough tissues by which muscles are held together. Tendons. A strong tissues by which muscles are attached to bones. True false. Good posture keeps our bones, joint and muscles strong. Milk is rich in vitamin D and iron. Running and stretching exercises are bad for our health. Vitamin C is synthesized in our body in the presence of sunlight. Outdoor games are good to maintain fitness of our body. Tick the correct answer. Hip and shoulder joints are example of hinge joint, pollen socket joint, gliding joint, pivot joint. Number two, muscles are attached to the bones by strong fiber called tendon, nerves, bones or muscles. Movement of the human body are produced by the contraction and relaxation of skeleton, vertebral column, joint, ligament. Another name of backbone is joint, vertebral column, skeleton or tendons. A place where two or three bones meet is called joint, ribs, skeleton, tendons. Fill in the blanks. A helping box is also given to you. You can find out the answers from it. First one. The dash covers and protects the brain. The dash protects the spinal cord. Bones are held together by strong tissues called dash. A dash joint allows the movement of the head from side to side. We have dash lids of muscles in our body. Question number 4. Name the following. The joint in the knee and elbow. The largest thigh bone. The muscles in our heart. The tissue by which bones are held together. give reasons for the following first one we cannot move our bones without muscles the ribs bones are curved and form a cage like structure we should always sit and stand straight and walk upright question number six is a picture here it is given kinds of joints are given here you need to label and find out which particular type of joint is given in the picture? The next one is a picture of a skeleton. In this diagram, you have to label and learn the type or the names of particular part of the skeleton. Classwork assignments.
what are the functions of the skeleton the main functions of skeleton system are it gives form shape and support to our body it protects the internal organs such as brain lungs and heart it helps to move different body parts with the help of muscles Question number two: What is joint? Write three examples of movable joint. Joints are the place or the point where two or more bones meet. They enable us to move and bend. For example, ball and socket joint, pivot joint, hinge joint. How do muscles work? Write the difference between voluntary and involuntary muscles. Muscles can only pull a bone; they cannot push. Hence, two bones are required to move a bone in one direction. For example, when you raise your arm, the biceps muscle contracts and pulls up the arm. When you lower the arm, the tricep muscles contract the arm. the tricep muscles contract and bicep relax difference between voluntary and involuntary muscles first is voluntary muscles voluntary muscles are under our control these muscles are present in our arms hands and legs involuntary muscles these muscles are not under our control these muscles are present in stomach what is a posture list importance of good posture and exercise posture is the position of our body when we sit stand or walk importance of posture first a good posture keeps our body in proper shape it help us stay healthy and make us look smart importance of exercise regular exercise help us keep our muscle in good tone it makes our bones strong it helps the lungs heart and blood vessels to function properly draw and label the diagram of skeleton already the diagram of skeleton is being given to you in the homework assignment part see the diagram and draw in the class work copy as far as questions of homework assignments are concerned you have to find out yourself and then we will discuss the answers in the next video so that you can check your answers whether they are correct or not till the time thank you so much stay safe